Cartagena, Colombia, located in the Caribbean coast of Colombia. A city with a population of more than one million, it is Colombia's most important tourist destination. Many Colombians from other cities in the country like Bogota, Medellin, and Cali moved to Boca Grande because of its modern buildings and because it is right on the beach. Many skyscrapers and upscale homes have been built in this area. Cartagena is full of history. It was a main center for transportation and commerce in the Viceroyalty of New Granada. Since it was such an important city, pirates from Britain, France, and Holland tried to capture it. That is why the government in the mid to late 1500s decided to build a seven mile defensive wall and a fort called the Castillo de San Felipe or the St. Philip Fort. This area of Cartagena is now called the Walled City. It is the most important tourist destination in Cartagena. Many foreigners, including Americans, visit this area. My name's Alan Bruner. I'm Jessica Remington. And uh, we've been in Colombia for 15 days. Yeah, about Started in Cartagena, went to Santa Marta, Tagaga, scuba diving, and uh, the National Park. Yeah. 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 And uh, general opinions, I'd have to say, uh, it's wonderful. Didn't expect no hassles, very easy transportation. No hassles on the streets, you know, if anything, the locals seem to ignore you, so, you know, there's a real big taboo in Colombia and the United States. The family is like, oh no, Mexico is a whole lot more sketchy than, than Colombia is. So, yeah, I even yeah. emailed back my family then, exactly. So, pretty much not much of a gringo trail. Definitely need to know your Spanish, that's a, that. Yeah, not a lot of English fun. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah. right. Thank you very much. Some of the less fortunate residents of the poorer areas of Cartagena come to the wild city and look for ways to make money. This is Pascual Gallega. She is a poor woman from the slums of Cartagena and has to come to the richer parts of the city to beg for money. Why are you here? Yes, I have to come here and beg for money because I don't have an equity. I don't have enough to sustain myself, and since I am a sick woman and I cannot work, sweep, mob, I had to come here and sometimes I ask for money. Sometimes I do little bags and what I make is enough because when I get a really bad headache, I don't do anything. Do you understand? What is the health issue that you have? I have a problem in one of my lungs. In my left lung, I have a borehole that is very advanced. It means, I want to explain, that I have the lung with a filter. So instead of forming the lung, the air escapes through the borehole so I don't breathe right. And the government isn't helping you with the situation? No, they haven't in anything. Just cheap medicine. But what happens is that the medicine doesn't have that much of an effect on you. They are just like a sedative. And for what I have, you need a good doctor that sends you good medicine, some vitamins, and the only medicine that they send me is Diferatosa Rosso. That is basically $2 worth of sleeping medicine. The people of Cartagena take a lot of pride in its culture. Many residents, like Pascual, come to a walled city and do anything for money. If you come to this area at night, there is a good chance you will see performers and see cumbia, which is an Afro-Colombian music style that originated here in Cartagena, for money.